chapter 2 on the trail of the earliest people that is on the path how early man lived and what are the daily routine things early man used to do now let's see one thing from the present era today we can move from one place to another place doesn't matter how far it is it doesn't take more than a day for example going from Delhi to New York it only takes less than 24 hours or going from Delhi to Mumbai it around an hour via the aeroplane or otherwise if we move from railways it takes around a day or two from moving from Kashmir to Kanyakumari that's from the topmost point of India to the lowermost point of India it, it takes almost two days not more than that but the question arises was it easy for the early man to move from one place to another place on foot and certainly we do know that they never had aeroplanes or they never had railways as railways and aeroplane both were introduced somewhere two centuries ago that's not more than 200 years ago and even the bicycles or any kind of other cart was not there when the early man existed that is millions of years ago then another question arise the earliest people why were they on the move if they were we know that uh, the earlier people on the subcontinent of India and nearby areas they lived around 2 million years ago that is 20 lakh years ago so this this is a huge time when the early men used to live and certainly as they never have such kind of technology they are called in today's world as the hunter gatherers and why this particular name hunter gatherers came it's simply because they used to hunt wild animals birds or they used to catch fishes and certainly they were gatherers as they used to gather fruits the honey or eggs or such kind of things which were easily available in the nature they, they were not the producers of food they, they, they didn't know how to produce food there were no restaurants or there were no hotels where, where they can go and have their own meal so certainly they were hunter gatherers they used to just catch the things which the nature has provided now let's come back to our own question the earliest people why were they on the move now we know that they were hunter gatherers so certainly they, they used to prey upon all those things which were present in nature and in the nearby environment where they used to live now the thing is if they were inhabiting a particular place let's say for for six months or so so if they if they are staying here then whatever material was available in this area let's say there were 10 deers or 100 variety of fruits let's say there were trees of apple there were trees of mangoes and there were trees of banana and all those things they, they used to eat all the things in this particular area now certainly it will take seasons for all these fruits to grow again in this area it will take several months or even years for these deers to come back here again from some other place so certainly as the food was not available hence they have to move from this place to some other place in search of this food again as certainly they, they didn't have any kind of other jobs they they never used to go offices or they never have to go or they never have to obey government or all those things they, they used to think by their own selves by whatever amount of brain size they have they, they have to move from one place to other place in search of food now let's let's ponder over what are the various reasons what could be the probable various reason they have to move from one place to another place let's, let's bifurcate them in points it could be to collect the plant produced then they have to move from one possible place one one existing place to another place and other reasons could be as, as they are searching for the plant produce then certainly they, they are not sure whether the food the plant is edible in nature whether the plant is poisonous in nature or whether the plant is bad for their health it could go for dysentery it, it could lead to food poisoning it could lead to several other things so it's not they were not sure they were not doctors or they they never had done any kind of research in the early age that w whether a food is good or whether a food is bad and if they get to know then certainly then they will never eat that particular fruit or whatever plant root or plant shoot that they, they, uh, they used to have it hence in search of the edible fruit 
edible plant food they have to move from one place to another place the other reason we can say as the animal move from one place to other place in search of grass for example let's say we have a deer okay it's not a good drawing of deer this deer has to move in search of grass or similarly the other wild cattle like cow or buffalo or whatever animal existing by that time even they must be moving they the animals themselves used to move from one place to another place to from the second place to the third place and so on and so forth hence even the early man has to do all those things they they have to follow these animals so that they can gather uh, the animal produced by themselves okay and even the wild animal used to move from one place to another place in search of their own prey there's no doubt in this let's say we have lion or we have a tiger for that matter and certainly even these these kind of animals will move from one place to another place in search of their own prey let's say even the deer so that is the early man early man as he was the eater of both these animals he certainly he was so in search of all these things even early man has to travel from one place to another place Let, let's ponder over another reason the probable reason why early man could have moved from one place to the another area uh, and that could be the seasonal shift as the early man would have seen that in in a particular season or in a particular time or somewhere in some time in the year that the plants or the trees bear fruit on their leaves and then in some other season the grasses what they they used to eat even they grow on this particular earth in particular area in a particular season and hence when the season gets over even these fruits get vanished or even they, they used to eat it then hence to have more food as the season was not there and they have to move in search of another area so that they can have their own food and let's see the probable fourth reason what could be that they have to shift from this place to that place which could be the reason as something called as water that we all know water is a thing that all all the living beings on this planet require it could be plants it could be animals and it could be the early man themselves as water is something which which you get in the rainy season or which you get from the rivers or lakes or ponds or streams then hence even early man used to live nearby these areas and it is not necessary and it was not necessary that whichever lake or stream or pond or a river they were living by is perennial in nature well we are introducing a new word here perennial means something which is available throughout the year so it long lasts it never dries up so perennial rivers so it was not necessary that the even the early man was living by near such kind of ponds or streams or lake which are perennial in nature hence even they have to move from one place to another place in search of water and last but not the least the probable reason why early man could have moved from one place to another place was the friends and relatives well certainly it it was possible that even they used to have a group of people living nearby and in search of food half of the group have moved to this area and half of the group have moved to this area well after some time if if any of the person from this particular group wanted to see the fellow being or their own friends or relatives of this group that the new one then hence they even they have to travel to this particular area hence it could also be a probable reason that the early man moved if we just just summarize all these five points we do find that out of these five four are related to food and that too tells us that the uh, the hunter gatherers uh, thing of the early man was was forcing them to move from one place to other place in the second part of this video we will be discussing about how do we know about these people that they they used to move from one place to another place till then have a good day ahead take care bye bye